So a few weeks ago, Brett McGowan, um, a comic book writer, approached me on t Twitter via uh, my DMs, asking if um, I was willing to review his and two other comic book writers' comics as part of their shared universe, the Mythoverse. And I was happy to oblige. He gave me the Dropbox links to his and their comics. So here are my reviews for those three comics, the first of which is Adobe Kroger Dame Commander. Uh, Adobe Kroger Dame Commander, uh, created and written by Dan Saturo, the penciling and inking by Leandro Pankaneven, lettering by Eric Weathers, the logo design by Bob Stone, cover color by Brett Smith, co-publishing by Michael Watson and Matthew Bryant. The year is 2012, an ancient order of holy knights known to those within as the Order of the Carolingian Cross has ruled the human world from the shadows for 1200 years, and now a group of innocent girls have been kidnapped by a vile hedonistic cult whose members revel in the use of forbidden and foul magics to fuel their depraved orgies. As the threat is beyond the ken of the mundane authorities, the Order of the Carolingian Cross has sent in one of their own to free the captive girls before it's too late. So we are introduced to our protagonist, uh, Adobe Kroger, who is a paladin. She suffers from stuttering, which is a huge deterrent to how she performs her work as a paladin, as she says a lot of phrases that give her abilities such as like you no know, impervious to bullets uh, increased like strength or agility and all that and but she needs to say the words properly and her stuttering will really affect that she's joined by her um teammates casey who is a wizard and reese who is a just a normal per a non-magical person but he's a combat expert and an assassin and an infiltrator so their mission uh in this issue is to save a group of girls that have been captured by this cult so they are able to break into the building they engage with the uh, the security that the cult has or at least one of the cult members has brought with them to save the girls they save some of the girls and that's essentially just what happens in this issue so story i'm going to give this a four or five i think it was a very good decent introduction and premise to this series um the characters are interesting. The world is interesting. What I saw, definitely interesting. The art, I'm going to give a four out of five. I think the art is good. There's a lot of good action scenes that um that were really bolstered and boosted by the art. It was really good. The cover, I'm going to give a four out of five as well. I really like the cover. It perfectly captures essentially what ha happens in this comic. The next one... The next one is Changeling, an urban fairy tale, created and written by Brett McGowan, penciling and inking by Victor, uh, Victor Campen, coloring and lettering by Ginger Foxy, the logo designed by Zero Forks, co-published again by Michael Watson and Matthew Bryant. Summer 2019. Maeve McKenzie isn't an ordinary girl from Aberdeen. I don't know what WA is, so, sorry. Uh, it's definitely not Western Australia. <laughs> uh, living with social anxiety for most of her childhood, Maeve has struggled to find her place among the, her peers while her parents struggled to raise a child they at times don't understand even with years of therapy and a long time growing up in a christian household mave is still trying to find answers and she hasn't been able to find them in either god or, or her therapist growing up isn't easy for anyone especially for Maeve. but what if there's a reason she doesn't fit in what makes her different from other kids so we're introduced to Maeve, uh, who is such suffering from social anxiety. Her parents are trying to help, um, well, at least one of them. The mom is act actively trying to help. The dad is just like, eh. Um, the therapist is trying to help her as well. She's being put into situations that she's not comfortable with, and it's not really helping with her social anxiety. She would rather work with, like, at a, I think it was, it was a veterinarian or a pet store where she uh, is there with the cats, you know, obviously she can be okay around cats because cats, you know, they can't speak English except for one cat that she does meet um, as she's heading back home. A cat called Gavin, who is revealed to be a, uh, I think a fae is what they called a person that can transform into a cat has also looks a bit like a cat as well. Um, basically a fairy, but less of a degenerate. <laughs> and um, he reveals that, uh, Maeve is also a fae. She's a uh, specific kind of fae called a changeling, a creature that is um swapped and put into a human family and takes uh kind of takes on the appearance of the human family's original baby that was taken. So, and she wants she has to struggle. Like, does she really want to know who she is or just continue with her 
social anxiety, normal-ish life and forget about this new revelation. Story, I'm going to give it a three out of five. The first half, I think, is the weakest, but it the thing is, it's vital to Maeve and for the reader to know who Maeve is, her situation and the build-up to the plot. But I... Th- I, I didn't particularly find it interesting. So it's this weird paradox of that. I don't like it, but it has to be there to under, to give us the setup of who the main character is and some of the other side characters are. But the, the latter half, when we're introduced to Gavin, that's definitely when it picks up. So it's a bit, bit of a mixed bag there with the story. The art and the coloring, I'm going to give a, I'm going to give a three out of five. I've, it, it's it's okay it's it's decent but i'm not particularly a big fan of like the webtoon-esque kind of art style it's not it's not really my cup of tea but it's not outright terrible the cover the cover though i'm gonna give a four out of five i think i actually did like the cover i think it is a good looking cover good art and good coloring there and onto the final one, Mythics, created and written by Matt Trin, art and lettering by Beth Varney, co-published by Michael Watson and Matthew Bryant. The year is 2007. Elthea Fletcher is a newly instated member of the Mythic Order, an ancient order based in the spirit realm. They have been protecting humanity from the shadows, carefully avoiding the Order of the Carolingian Cross. That's the same order that Adobe Kroger is part of in, in her series. Uh, while doing so, uh, for magic is under their strict regulatory control, with the pel- penalties for it unauthorized use being severely dire. Nonetheless, the mythics work tirelessly to maintain the fragile balance between our world and the realm of spirits. On Elthea's first mission, she is ordered to rescue a kidnapped baby changeling and to capture a coven of witches. If the witches succeed, they'll summon a demon lord. So we, int- we are introduced to our protagonist, Elthea, who is part of of the the mythic order um she she herself is a mythic uh she's joined with her familiar uh familiar a familiar here is not particularly the same like how other familiars are portrayed in different works so instead of it being like a an animal um it's an actual kind of like person called uh uh gallatin who uh, assists her with her job so they find a coven of witches who are trying to summon a demon lord not particularly doing it well, as it needs two sacrifices, according to Elthea. They need the baby, and there's a need, I think it was an animal. So they're able to stop the Coven of Witches, but Elthea is stuck with a baby changeling. They don't can't take it back to the parents just yet, so she has to, for the meantime, look after this baby changeling. Not knowing that these events have been manipulated from a... um from a uh, third party of sorts uh an- an- another another group uh had manipulated that uh event for their own reasons don't know why yet but um i'm sure the rest of the series will expand upon that so story i'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 i think uh, above average almost almost good there is an interesting premise there but it just i think it felt a bit i think it needed to expand a a, li- a little bit more with the uh, the character and who the uh a bit upon like who the antagonist is going to be it didn't, it didn't really f- we know there is an antagonist we just don't know like the base introduction of who this uh antagonist is so kind of felt a bit weak but there is an interesting premise there the art and coloring i'm gonna give it three out of five i think it was it was kind of average looking art it wasn't particularly my favorite it was okay but it wasn't terrible the cover I'm going to give a was there a cover to this? Yes, there was. Definitely was a cover to this. Cover I'm gonna give a cover I'm gonna give a three out of five as well. I think it's an average looking cover. Uh it's it's an alright looking pose, but I think feel like there could have been a bit more with it. Um so overall with these three comics, um Adobe Kroger Dame Commander is that was absolutely like my favorite of the three. That's the one I'm looking forward to the most that I would continue reading um there is definitely and uh, definitely a good interesting premise there with, with some good action um changeling mythics um while while not perfect they did um they do have some interesting premises as well i think could have tweaked um improved a bit on the the first issues could have been 
in my opinion, uh, and this is my opinion, uh, whether you agree with me or not, uh, could have been a bit better, but um, they do kind of save themselves in some aspects of the first issue. So, um, all right starts for those two. Uh, could have been better, but um, hopefully it's something where it improves, improves upon in the rest of like the series. So that is it for my reviews of the three Mythoverse comics. Uh, Oz Chris enter the enter the Mythoverse or into the Mythoverse. I was trying to make a Spider Man reference and it fell flat because I couldn't think of it properly. Thanks me. But that is it for this review. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter and Instagram are are in the outro. And I will see you all in the next one.